Welcome back everybody. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. In today's video, I will be going over the hardest punch card challenges and how to complete them. If you guys could, make sure to use my code COBESMIND in the item shop. Make sure to leave a comment down below so I can heart it if you guys actually use it. So I've been asked questions multiple times on different punch cards and how to complete them. Some of them are pretty self-explanatory like stockpile. This one can easily be done in Team Rum or arena make it a little bit faster for yourself but the hardest challenge this season in my opinion is the lumberjack challenge which I already made a full tutorial video on we went over a few different methods in that video like just using my pickaxe using a helicopter to destroy trees and then finally we found the best strategy is using a boat to destroy trees so if you guys want help go to the link in the description this one is easily the the hardest I would say for sure but the ones we will be going over in today's video the luck of the llama I know a hundred llamas are pretty hard to find but I'm gonna try to make it easier for you guys next up is get off my lawn which is killing marauders and I will show you the easiest way to do that the next one is from downtown which is eliminate opponents from 150 meters away this one I only have nine out of ten currently I feel like just out of pure luck I would have more, but I'm gonna try to figure out a way to do this one a little bit more efficiently. I'm also going to mention Teammates Revived and Teammates Rebooted as well later on in this video. And then finally, one of the most evasive challenges yet, the Streaking Punch Card Elimination Streak Accolades. So I will be explaining this one. I think we might go over this one first and how to complete it in my opinion the most efficient way. If you guys have any other punch cards you really want Want me to go over I could make another video on this but for now I think this will be the end of these videos and one more quick tip I have for you guys if you guys are playing any other game mode besides solo and team rumble for any of these challenges whether it be pistol eliminations explosive eliminations shotgun AR or sniper rifle eliminations or anything else the best way to do these if you guys are having trouble actually getting let's say explosive eliminations once you find grenades make sure to pick them up once you find an RPG make sure to pick it up once you knock a player then finish them with either the grenade or an RPG same thing with the pistol or the sniper rifle that doesn't mean you have to knock the player with the sniper or pistol or explosives but just get the finish with those weapons if 50 v 50 comes out that is going to be the best way for you guys to do these challenges it'll be so easy so the first one we will get into is the streak punch card for the streaking punch card my recommendations you're either gonna have to get very very lucky in squads going to bot lobbies or do team rumble I don't believe you'll be able to complete this in solos or duos unless you get in like inconceivably lucky so we're gonna hop into some bot lobbies guys and I'm gonna show you how to do it so the best place to land for this challenge is retail row and I'm gonna try my best to explain exactly how to do this because I think Think I know how so a lot of people are confused about what the streaking punch card even is so every time you get an elimination it shows up on the bottom of the screen once that elimination goes away then your streak is over so let's say you kill one player and that elimination is still on the bottom of the screen if you get another elimination before that goes away you're on a two streak you need a six streak so we're gonna land right here we're gonna try our best so I'll just loot up. Crash pads are very, very important for this. We're going to loot up right here. I am going to shield real quick. Okay, we have one player right here. We're going to knock him. We're going to pick him up and carry him to the next squad. So let's see. Oh, yes. More crash pads. That is perfect. So I hear a bunch of players over here. A bunch of them. I'm going to chuck them down there. We hear one guy right here. We're going to try to keep everyone together. Pick him up and run him over to the other knocked player. So we hear more people over here. We're gonna pick that guy up, chuck him, pick him up, chuck him again. And we have another player right here. That is another knock. So right now we have three players knocked. Everyone's pretty close together, which is good. Oh my God, I missed. Another knock right there. We're gonna pick him up and chuck him down there with the rest of his buddies. We're gonna crash pad away. So get one more knock. There we go. We need one more player, one more player, and we're good. We're good. We got him. We got him. 
We can do this, guys. So get this. There's the first elimination. There's another elimination. That is five. That is five for the challenge right there. Let's see. And, oh, we weren't able to get the sixth right there, guys. But we will try it again. So we're going to be trying to do it again to get that sixth elimination. The very important things are to keep everyone close together if possible. Pick up crash pads. If you get those, those are going to help so much guys but if you're also able to box people up i think that could help as well i don't know for sure but i think for the elimination feed the elimination stays on the screen for five seconds so that doesn't mean you have to get six kills in five seconds that means you have to get six kills in 30 seconds but each of the kills has to be within that five seconds if that makes sense guys i'm trying my best to explain it because i know it might not make much sense to some of you guys out there but it might be making just perfect sense sense for others there we go two down we can do this one guys i truly believe we got it this time so i'm gonna sort of hide this guy away in here i'm gonna hide him chuck him in the building <laughs> or at least try to now we can go over here and hopefully get these two knocks oh this could be it oh my god okay we have four right now we're gonna carry this fresh kill over here we got one of them fully killed okay we only have three okay we only have two <laughs> ah, this challenge is gonna make me go insane dude okay come on okay there that's three we have some players running down right now that's perfect i'm gonna chuck this guy over here okay there we go that's three Wait a second, wait a second. It's another. That's another, and we did it. The ultra elimination, the monster elimination is finally ours, and we still had some players over here. We probably could have ended up getting more, honestly, guys. This challenge is not easy. You have to be like somewhat decent at the game, even in bot lobbies to get this challenge done. This is not an easy one, guys. I feel like this is probably the hardest challenge out of all of them, even though I was able to finish it within two hours. I feel like it was the easiest one out of all of them. The tree one is the most time consuming, but this one is definitely the hardest. For our next challenge, we will be doing the luck of the llama challenge, and this one is definitely not too hard. One thing I can recommend if you guys are on pc make sure to turn on your view distance to epic that way you guys can see llamas from very far away for the luck of the llama challenge you guys can look around the map and try to find them as you're on the battle bus but we're just gonna drop down and get in a helicopter and search that way some games you may not find a llama some games you might find three llamas it really just depends on your luck but i would say the easiest possible way to do this challenge and do it quickly is to go into a helicopter and look that way i know there have been several tutorial videos on how to find llamas from the battle bus so if you guys want to go watch those feel free but this is the way i'm going to do it and there we go there is our first llama honestly a lot quicker than i thought it was going to be i will play this game out and we'll see if we get any other llamas this game but i would definitely go around the outside of the map like i did here i started right here and i sort of went around the map like that if you guys follow my marker all the way to steamy stacks and here we go we found our first llama so make sure you guys actually open it or search it don't break it open or it's not gonna count and there we go guys our first llama it may be smarter just to leave the game after you get the first one from the outskirts because the other ones probably are already opened at that point but if you guys want to play out the game you guys can definitely go around and hit supply drops while doing this all right guys i'm gonna call it here i've searched this part of the map already twice but we got one llama pretty early on that game and that's not uncommon while doing this for the marauder eliminations what you're going to want to do is go in regular solo duos or squads and then once you're over the authority what you're going to want to do is jump out and hold out your glider so the reason we do this here is because marauders spawn in out of rifts and you're able to see them when you spin around the map like this i think they spawn in at around 35 to 40 seconds so we're just gonna chill and wait and we see one over there i missed it but see that rift opening up right there so now what you're gonna want to do you're gonna want to land near the marauders not right on top of them because they will kill you but let's see where are they going to land they're gonna land 
all the way back there. Holy crap, that is far. Sometimes the distance can be a little bit deceiving and we have someone actually sniping at me right now. <laughs> Dude, there's no way. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna hit this whirlpool after I'm done um, at least getting one weapon. Okay, we have another set of marauders over there, guys. That is a different set of marauders, but I would say it's not unlikely for that to happen. We see another set of marauders spawn in over there as well. So since we saw these marauders, they're coming right over to us, which is perfect. Oh, wait, there's actually a player right here. So we can kill this player and hopefully kill the marauders. Okay, we killed the player, but you guys get the premise of this idea right here. Yeah, we went to a different Marauder squad, but just look up in the sky for that rift. Once the Marauders spawn in, just chase them down, pick up a gun first, and then get those kills. So we're just going to get this last kill right here. We actually do have a player sniping at us right now. And there we go. All Marauders are down, guys. And after this, if you still want Marauder kills, what I would suggest is getting in a helicopter like this guy and going to get the kills guys <laughs> but you should be able to hunt down more marauders in a helicopter if it is nearby loot up a little bit more and then hunt them down for sure guys the last challenge we will be going over today is the from downtown challenge so this one is very simple what i want you guys to do is just land anywhere you would like this is my favorite spot to land in team rumble since there is an upgrade bench nearby just in case i need it just in case you end up getting a hunting rifle there should be an upgrade bench nearby because you want to swap that over to the bolt action sniper rifle because we need eliminations from at least 150 meters away and i feel like the hunting rifle just won't do the job well enough if you guys want to use it feel free but i'm just going to look around for the bolt and there we go guys we already got it now just try to open up as many ammo crates as humanly possible so you can get enough ammo for this challenge because you're never going to be near people for this a, a hunting rifle and a bolt action sniper rifle i'm gonna try to pick up five snipers i am going to swap this hunting rifle over to the bolt action though so once you're done looting just set up anywhere where you believe it's 150 meters away there's no way to really tell for sure i guess if you do this challenge enough you might be able to know but then just start taking sniper shots guys there we go 141 <laughs> <laughs> not far enough guys so i'd rather get an elimination from 200 meters away not 141 i'd rather have it be further than shorter for sure there we go from downtown there's our first one i personally would take the silent sniper over the bolt 148 are you kidding me i would take the silenced one because it does reload a little bit faster and i definitely like that and it does do 100 damage if it is gold there we go. That's enough. Oh my god, 235. Okay, maybe that's too far away. Let's see if we can get this guy too. Stand still. There you go. Yes, another one. There's another. Okay, 250 meters. Yeah, I'm not I'm not close enough, guys, but whatever. It doesn't matter. All right, guys, I didn't get as many snipes as I would have wanted to that game. I'm not the best sniper in the world by any means, but you guys get the premise of this idea. For the last thing I wanted to mention, for the back on your feet and turn it off and on again challenges, I would say just get two or three other teammates, friends with you. If you're doing the reviving teammates challenge, have them jump off a high struck and keep reviving them over and over again and then for the turn it off and on again challenge what i would do personally have a very high structure have them jump off of that onto a lower structure and once they're knocked have them drop off of that and you'll be on the ground pick up their reboot cards and reboot them that's what i would do thank you guys so much for watching today's video i really hope i did help you out if i did make sure to drop a like subscribe turn on those notifications also guys use my code cobesmind in the item shop. I would appreciate it, guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, guys.